Hey guys, what's going on? Liam here. Today, Ghost Recon Breakpoint officially released on Steam as Ubisoft continue crawling back to Valve. Since they were clearly able and willing to fix The Division 2 for Steam Deck, where it had a dedicated fix shortly after release, I was hopeful this time around that there wouldn't be any issues launching it, that and that it would actually perform okay, so here's what I found. Out of the box, Breakpoint comes with launch options for Vulcan or DirectX, but testing with various Proton versions, it just doesn't work without a small fix. Thanks to a post on Reddit for pointing out the fix that I'll link in the description for the full credit. If you go into desktop mode and load up Steam, and then go into the properties for Breakpoint, and then to the local files to load up where it's installed, head into the BattleEye folder and open up belauncher.ini in any text editor, and just change the line where it says 64-bit exe to be grb underscore vulcan.exe instead. Save that file and relaunch it, selecting the Vulcan launch option, and then you're good to go. It will run. When it comes to Breakpoint, much like other recent games dropped on Steam from Ubisoft, it does not support Steam achievements, and it also has their Ubisoft launcher. Testing with Proton Experimental, which has more fixes than regular Proton right now, there was no problem with the Ubisoft launcher to get into the game. However, I should note as well, because this is vitally important, it does make use of de novo anti-tamper as well, so be careful changing Proton versions or launching between systems, as it might detect each as a new system and end up eventually locking you out. De novo, I believe, has a 5 per day limit, and I actually hit this limit doing this video trying different Proton versions where the game locked me out. I really hate De Novo with a passion. Now keep in mind, this is just an early first look. I really have no clue what I'm doing in the game. I've never played it before, but I wanted to get word out on how to get it working. Now I've tested both handheld and docked up to a monitor like this recording with an 8-bit Doe Ultimate Wireless Controller attached. And when it comes to playing it on the Steam Deck without a dock, Text size and clarity is always a worry, but here it actually seems fine. And you can actually scale up the interface as well, so I think Ubisoft did a reasonably good job there. Now the footage that you're seeing is on the medium preset, with the user interface set to large and no other changes. And for the most part, it stays a good bit above 30 frames a second, even on medium settings. And honestly, I'd be pretty happy to play it like this, but I would just lock it to 30 frames a second. However, there is going to be a huge but here. But, just like the issue in God of War, which I've confirmed with others, eventually the RAM use just seems to spike up to around 14 GB and the game will just die. As you're seeing in my example, where the capture card just completely cuts out because the Steam Deck rebooted itself. So right now, out of the box breakpoint is quite problematic, sadly so. This doesn't mean it'll stay this way, but it does make it a bit rough right now, needing a manual desktop fix, along with it crashing hard after a while of playing. You might actually be able to fix the hard crash with Cryo Utilities that I'll link in the description. It's a script that lets you tweak your RAM swap values, which does apparently fix God of War crashing in the same way, so it might work here as well. Let me know how you get on in the comments. I'm going to keep on testing this one and see if I can get it to work better. And I'll probably test out the cryo utilities on this one myself as well. But for now, it's just an early first look to show you how to actually get it working. Thanks for listening and I'll see you later.